Hi friends, I just got a new addition to my indoor garden collection. This is quite different from all the gardens I have so far. This is not a hydroponic system. This is a beautifully designed self-watering garden with built-in smart lights. It is called Smart Garden 9 from the company called Click and Grow. Let's see what it looks like. What are all the accessories it came with, how it works and eventually how it performs. It came with three packs of pre-seeded pods, basically three plant varieties, basil, lettuce and tomatoes and three pods in each variety, total nine pods. Next thing is the light panel with power adapter. Then the germination domes that goes on the pods. Then the light extensions called arms. And the bowl along with the grow deck. This is a 4 liter water tank with 9 pod grow deck. And it is made with ABS plastic. I can definitely feel the great quality put into this garden. This clearly looks like a premium product. It comes with 9 plant cups along with lids. Basically, we place the pots into these cups. Each cup comes with a little white stick inserted at the bottom. These are called wicks and they will be the ones delivering the water from the bowl to the plants. This is what we call self-watering mechanism. These cups are looking very small and I wonder how roots going to fit into this small cup. Root system of some plants like tomato is super big and I am very excited to see how that's going to fit into this small cup. Let's discuss that as plants grow. Now let's open the bowl. It has so many locks inside the bowl which holds the grow deck very strong. We need to apply a lot of pressure to open it. Here it is, looks clean and simple. This grow deck has a water float in one of the corners. When we fill the water, we should fill until the top of this float aligns with grow deck. That's pretty much about the bowl. I just want to call out one thing to avoid any confusion. There is no pump here because this is not a hydroponic system. This is a self-watering smart garden. Now let's talk about the pods. This system doesn't come with explicit nutrition. The pod itself comes with nutrition. I am not sure if the nutrition is well enough throughout the grow cycle of the plants. They called out the duration of grow cycle for each plant variety. So I believe the nutrition is well enough for that duration. What happens after that is something I am going to experiment and figure it out. Looking at the durations of each variety, the basil plant sprouts in 2 weeks and lives up to 3 months. Tomato plant sprouts in 2 weeks and lives up to 4 months. And the lettuce sprouts in 2 weeks and lives up to 1 month. Now let's see how the pod looks like. Here is the pod. It is made up of biodegradable materials. It has seeds and nutrition. That's why it is called Smart Soil Pod. We just need to drop it into the plant cup, place the lid and cover it with germination dome. This system doesn't come with any spacers to cover the unused holes. So if we are not using all the holes, then we should find something that covers the unused holes or we can just place the empty cups. I never leave the holes uncovered. Uncovered holes let the dust and debris fall into the water. That's pretty much about the system. Now it's time to experiment with it. In my first experiment, I will start with 3 lettuce pods and 1 tomato pod. One of the great things with this kind of system is, each plant will get nutrition from its own pod. So there is no competition for nutrition. 
On the same note, since they are living in their own pot, there is no tangling of roots or the companion issues. We can put together any plant varieties. They will all grow independently. However, I am little skeptical on the spacing. The pods are arranged very well and there is enough spacing between the pods. However, I am not sure how bigger plants like tomato will fit into this garden. I will learn all that as I am experimenting with different plants. Since this is my first experiment, I will go little easy and limit the number of pods to 3 lettuce and 1 tomato. Once I figure out how the space in this garden works, I will add more plants in my future experiments. That's it. The garden is ready with pods. Now I will add water. This company has a very good collection of pods in flowers, herbs, vegetables and fruits like strawberries. That's really good. It's been a couple of minutes, I added water. Let's see how effective the self-watering mechanism is. I see the pod is getting wet. So the water is being delivered well. It will take a couple of minutes to make this pod entirely wet. Now I am placing domes on all pods including the empty ones. That's it. The garden is all set and good to go. This system will automatically turn on the lights every day and keep them on for 16 hours. But we have a small catch here. It will start the timer the moment you plugged it in. So you really need to plug it in based on what time you want to turn on the lights. I prefer to align with daylight. All my hydroponic systems will turn on the lights at 7 am. So I will plug it in at 7 am so that it will turn on every day at 7 am and turn off at 11 pm. That's pretty much all about Click and Grow Smart Garden 9. Overall, I really like the design of this system. In simple words, 9 self-watering pots arranged in a compact space with 13 voltage automatic lights built into it. All in all, it turned out to be a beautiful garden. I definitely care about the aesthetics and the tech specs, but that is not everything to me. I really care about the performance. I will keep you updated with all my experiments in this garden, so please stay tuned. Coming to the price, right now I see the price is $230. In my honest opinion, it is on the expensive side. However, Click and Grow has some branding in the market. The garden looks beautiful and they have a great customer care based on my personal experience. So I think all this comes with some premium pricing. Anyways, this is just my opinion. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.